Welcome to the Free Form Rock Podcast YouTube edition. I am weird, and that's weirder. What's up, weirder? Hi. You're listening to the Weird and Weirder Pod Poop. Pod Poop. With Mr. Weirdo and Mr. Weird. Why the fuck are you? My lord. Hey man, get off my lawn is 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 freaking trademarked by the Mark and Jerry bullshit sessions. I'm just joking. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Fuck, we, we don't get it. Nobody watches us anyways, man. Fuck. We it's just, like, you know, uh, uh, oh, I, 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 I usually don't want to mention stuff about my biological family, but I have to mention this. Um and I and I will give a like cleaner version of this. Um, I was going to go somewhere with my uncle, and 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 he wanted me to find something in his living room. I stepped down and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I had to run to the bathroom to wash off my feet and it wasn't easy coming off but it finally did come off and I told my uncle you know when I tell you that you give me a lot of shit you give me a lot of shit and he laughed and that is no joke has no check. So you stepped in <laughs> doggy poop poop. Um, not doggy, kitty, or his shit. <laughs> yes, his shit. Yes. Oh, good. All right, guys. We're sorry about the people who just tuned off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I told you, man. I, I, I'm not gonna talk any more about that. But they're the kind of family where you could play a game. Can you do any better? Meaning the grossest and most embarrassing thing that you can say, can you do better than that? Another member would say, yes. Remember the time I... Blah, 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 blah. And then they go, can you do better than that? And another member would go, yes. Remember... Da, 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 da. And it gets worse and worse. And worse and worse. I did not grow up with them. I think thank just, goodness. I think you just put me into therapy, Lee. Um <laughs> believe me, you are totally the the most normal person compared to these people. Oh god. And well, even me, I'm even more normal than them. I'm gonna do it. And you do, you so do. Thank sorry, you. sorry okay. that I um had to mention that, but I wanted to mention it first. But anyway, go on. Okay, that's my surprise face. All right, man. Uh, what do you think of Kansas? Joking. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Hey, uh, I watched a documentary on I Want My MTV. Did you know that Michael Nesmith was a big part of MTV starting? Huh, that I did not know, but I'm interested in it. Yes, he like, he did videos. They asked him to make a promotional video for one of his songs. Mm. Not MTV, but he made a whole fucking Adlon Guard video with him in a suit and doing all this stuff with women. And they go, wow, that's really great. That's not what we thought you were going to make. We didn't think you're going to make like a little mini movie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> And then wow. he got in on the ground floor of MTV and he goes, well, I don't want to be corporate. So you guys take off and do what you want with it. <laughs> That's cool. That was cool. I didn't know that about him. We still haven't reviewed a Monkees album yet. I still yeah, want Ken and, Mills on that bitch. Yeah, and then there's also um some mike nismas solo albums that i think that would be cool to review. well that's what he made a video for is one of his solo songs and he made a whole full out production on it yeah were, <laughs> it's like damn it's like yeah, are he you, had a very good sense of humor 
Are you going to go see uh, the monkeys reunion with him and uh, Mickey? I don't think I would. Yeah. yeah. I got tickets for three shows, man. And they're coming up pretty soon. I got the Black Crows um, in August. I got Pat Benatar in September. And now hmm. I just got Candlebox in October. Who? Candlebox. Candlebox. Okay. Hmm. Which we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do a review of them with Paul Corn one day. Not the group Corn. No, I hate Corn. Okay. Even though uh, I have Corn CDs because they were given to me by a, my ex sister in law who died. She gave me her CD collection, and I mm. keep them in honor of her. And I actually okay. do like about maybe five Corn songs, so it's okay. But. Okay. Jen, Jenna Walton, man, thumbs up to you. She was my music. Uh, it's funny because my ex-wife, Jessica, used to say, you and Jenna should get married. You guys have so much in common in music because we like Depeche Mode. We liked Oingo Boingo. We liked all this shit that she didn't like. And when I got the new Danny Elfman CD, Big Mess, mm -hmm. I sent the song mm -hmm. to uh, my ex-wife, Jessica. I go, me and Jenna would have loved this. And she goes, yes, she would have. Hey, you know. She was a cool chick. Oh, okay. Man. She she uh, passed away, and and that's one of the things that broke up my wife and I because she couldn't handle the passing of her sister. On a somber note here, but okay. I also did get a Dirty Harry movie collection. Do you like these? Um, you know, I I do like the Dirty Harry movies. I haven't seen all of them as much as I should, but I do like the Dirty Harry movies. The only thing is that on my um, computer now, I don't have the ability to download or to watch DVDs. I would have to have them on MP4 or some sort of um, file on flash drive because I don't have a, have a DVD play. I don't have a... I, I don't have that kind of um, either CD-ROM or DVD-ROM anymore. Well, does your your if you could put a flash drive in there, you could put a, a USB DVD player connected to your your Chromebook. Um, I do have um, a USB DVD, but it doesn't. It hasn't recognized it. It doesn't, it's like if I were to say hi to the DVD player, it does not even give a response. I'm going to do some research and find you a, a USB DVD player that's compatible with Chromebook. Thank you, because... Um, you want Blu-ray or you a Blu-ray my, my my sister My sister sent me one and it didn't work. Well, I'll find you one, and then you could buy it. I'll if you have an Amazon account. Amazon's got everything. It's like if shit. if it works, it works. But it's like um, if it doesn't work, you could always send it back to Amazon. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good thing about Amazon. They give you a return label in there, and you just don't open, don't rip open the box. Keep the box intact so you can retape it and send it back. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, so I want to ask you. What is your favorite 80s album that is basically like new wave? Um, Echo and the Bunnymen's um, Heaven Up Here. That's a fucking great album. We need to review it. That's cool. I love Echo and the Bunnymen. <laughs> They're one of my favorite bands. Fucking... Lips like sugar, sugar kisses, or bring on the dancing horses. I fuck, dude, their lyrics are so fucking weird. And when I, when I saw the movie The Lost Boys and they did the cover of uh, The Doors, People Are Strange, I actually thought that was fucking The Doors. I was going, and I looked, that's not going to buddy me. They, they were, they, they on, on their first time, Crocodiles. Great album. One of their songs, Rescue. The, the critics compared it to The Doors. The Doors. 
the 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 echo and the bunny man is touring still you could still they they're going on a, a tour right now you can probably check them out but i love that band i've always loved that band i love fucking- we could either do we could either do heaven up here or we could do crocodiles if you I wanted don't care we could do a dual album review like we do with oingo boingo because they're short albums so uh that, oh, that Oingo okay. Boingo review got us a lot of downloads. So that dual. In fact, after we're done this review, I should listen to Crocodiles again because yeah. that has that that has a song. I forget what the name of it is, but I like it. Um, have you ever seen them live? I haven't seen them live, but I've seen YouTube videos of them. Um, have you ever seen them on the movie thing called Ur, a music war? And they yeah. do the song "The Puppet." Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's so, the police so was cool. in there too, right? Yeah, yeah, they did um, um, something like um, "Of Pain." I, I forget what the song was, but something of pain, like um, "Do Do Da Pain," "Do Do Do Da Da Pain." I, I I forget um, King of what no, there was a King of King of Pain. Of pain. No, was no. it King of Pain? No, it couldn't have been no, King of no, Pain because that was way no, before no, that he came um, up with that album. It, it was, it was, um, oh, of tears, maybe. Driven to um, tears. Driven to tears. Yeah, that's a great song. That's off of uh, Zanyata Mandata. Like, does it go driven to tears? Da da. I think it's the tears. I think it's dun. driven. I think it's like driven to tears. Driven. Da. Duh, like driven that, yeah. to tears. Duh, duh, driven to, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's your favorite police album since we're into this new wave shit now? Oh, boy. My answer would be, what isn't? Um, I, I like pretty much most of them. I would say it's a toss-up between their first two, maybe their second one. I forget what the name of it is, but but um, maybe Regatta de Blank is my favorite. My, I could tell you what my worst two police songs ever are, and they're the only two songs I don't like by the police in their whole discography, and are both on the same album, Synchronicity. Uh, Mother. Okay, that's and, not a good song. And Mrs. Gradenko. Yeah, those those are. Um, to me, like joke songs, like yeah, they're not. But then not, they, not they, not great. But mm-hmm. they have my favorite two songs by them of all time on that album. My two worst songs and my two favorite songs is fucking Synchronicity Two, fucking one of my all time favorite jams. I don't like distortion. Synchronicity Two. I like the first part of Synchronicity. God, I love the freaking where he goes every single meeting with his suppose suppo- but superiors is a humiliating kick in the crotch. Fucking love the lyrics on it. Many miles away, something crawls from the slime in a But I don't a like. But I don't like it. But those lyrics are so descriptive. But I, I but I still don't like it. That's fine you don't like. I'm telling you why I like it. I love the freaking Andy Summers fucking guitaring on that album. And fucking... What's your other song that you like? Uh, My other song is fucking uh, uh, King of Pain. Oh, God. You picked the two worst songs on it. (laughs) The two worst songs are Mother and Mrs. Gredenko. What are you talking about? Well, the other two were songs. Uh, I remember when I got that from Columbia House and the two stripes on the tape. I, but uh, I will say, I will say, I do like King of Pain and Synchronicity Two better than Miss Gordenko and Mother. So you get a pass. I do like uh, Behind My Camel that Sting had nothing to do with. We reviewed that with uh, Mr. Scott Norris from Canada. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I I do like um, Synchronicity One. I do like Synchronicity One too. That's that's a great tune. What is it? With one Um, breath, with one flow, you will know Synchronicity. 
Yeah. Yeah. I and that um, I would say that um, some of my favorite music is from Rumblefish that Stuart Copeland did. And, and I'd like us to review that album sometime, even though, you know, I don't know what you'll think of it, but I love it. Is it a rock album? It's Stuart Copeland. Well, it doesn't mean he does jazz and other things too. So it's instrumental. Okay, we could do it instrumental metal. Yeah, yeah, it's it's rock ish. We did Nita Strauss. That's our first instrumental album we ever reviewed. It's it's not jazzy. It's it's do you know the song Don't Fence Me In? Yeah. It's like that. Okay, I love Matt Dillon was in Rumblefish, right? Yes, it's, it's like that. It's but it's weird. Well, Stuart Copeland's a weird cat. <laughs> Anyways, but we'll... but I mean, but but I mean, it is rock-ish. It's not. It's not jazz. It's like the Police and Wall of Voodoo, but it's only Stuart Copeland on all of the instruments. You said wall of voodoo. Now I'm thinking of fucking, I'm on a Mexican wall. That's, right that's, on. that's the group. That's the group. I love, I love that. It's like, gonna eat a fried like a iguana. <laughs> it's like, a friend of mine went to high school with him and told me that he said that Stan Ridgeway um, was a lot like me, <laughs> you know? Dude, that song, you should do a cover of Mexican radio. <laughs> On the keyboard, man. You should do that, man. <laughs> if I did that, I, I should send it. If if I if I got the score music to it, I'd send it to Stan Ridgeway. You should, man, because fuck, dude, you, that is your type of song right there. I uh, and, and you I got do it. Love, I, I I got a drink of an iguana that went down my throat like Tijuana. <laughs> uh, you know. I thought I was going to eat something fried iguana. (laughs) (laughs) You should also do Barnes and Barnes. Fish heads, fish heads. You know, fish heads. Do you remember Lost in Space? Yes. Billy Mummy, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's that's him on there. Fish heads, fish heads, everybody fish heads. Do you you know about Wild Man Fisher? No. All right. We, um, um, Depending upon what album you piss me off with next, we'll do a Wildman Fisher album. Well, I might pick a Kansas album or Bruce Springsteen. I'm kind of thinking of Kansas now for some reason. I don't know. We haven't done a Kansas. Well, I'll do the Bruce Springsteen and the next one will be Kansas after that. We haven't done a Kansas yeah. album or an ELO album, you know? Yeah, Mr. Normal, you pick all the crap. Fuck. Maybe I could get Dr. Fuck on a Kansas album, an ELO. He's a freaking mm. nutswinger on that shit. Uh, I'm. I'm I'm not so much a nut swinger. You don't like ELO? No, I like them. Well, you you I, went you went to them live and passed out, you bitch. Yes, you fucking asshole. Why do you fucking mention that? Okay, next time that I do, we're gonna be doing one that you're not gonna like. Well, what's new? <laughs> mm. All right, man. Um shit. <laughs> Fuck you! You like Nicolas Cage? Um, am I like him or do I like him? You like him, but you are like Nicolas Cage. You're wild. <laughs> you know, you'd be like. I a, do watch. I do watch some movies because he's on them. You're like this. You know what? That's an album that Lee Gershman should have been on. <laughs> I could have. I could have done that album. I could have been on that album. He's like, there's a character that Andy Samberg does on Saturday Night Live when he was on there. He would, he would do Nicolas Cage. He'd go, you know what? That was a good movie. But I should have been in that movie. Nick Cage could have did that movie. You know what? We're going to go find the treasure. We're going to go find the lost treasure. <laughs> Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it was hilarious when Nick Cage came on and guested with him doing himself 
with Andy Samberg doing Nick Cage. <laughs> uh, like, that sounds cool. I'll, I'll see if I can find it on YouTube and send you the video. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Nick, yeah, that sounds really cool. The reason why Nick Cage did so many shitty movies at the like later is because the guy owed so much money that he had to do anything they offered him. <laughs> did you see Valley Girl? Oh, fuck yeah. Come on. Right on, man. You saw Valley Girl, man. That the 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 two girls who were on it, yeah. man. They were so much my type of girls. Did you uh, did you ever watch uh, Fast Times at Richmond High? Oh yeah, I saw it in the theater. He was a minor character in there in the restaurant. Ooh, I didn't know that. He went by Nicholas. But, he went by his real name, Nicholas Coppola. Huh. Interesting. You know, you know he's Francis Ford Coppola's nephew. I maybe kind of almost knew that, but no. But you know what? Jennifer Jason Lee, a lot of her films, um she's naked in them. She she uh, yeah. And then <laughs> so um there was a friend of mine who stayed with me for a while because um some and then I got some videos and I um, found a video and I said, Jennifer Jason Lee is on this one. But I said, but she's not naked in that. And he went, oh, <laughs> I'm sure that's disappointing for you. you know, <laughs> I was every, like, oh. Everybody talks about Phoebe Cates, Phoebe Cates, Phoebe Cates. I like Phoebe Cates. She's a beautiful lady. But look at Jennifer Jason Lee is not bad at all. You know. Oh man, she's one of my favorites. In fact, her you Rebecca know, I, Mornay, I, I, man. I oh my god, you you know what? I would love to do a movie with both of them in it. You know what? Um, um, Gwyneth Paltrow and Meatloaf and Randy Newman and. No, no. Gwyneth Paltrow, Meatloaf, Randy Bachman, and Sean Cassidy are all born on my birthday, September 27th. I would like Gwyneth Paltrow and Sean Cassidy to star in a movie that I directed with Randy Bachman doing the soundtrack and Meatloaf being one of the characters. From BTO, right? Randy Bachman from BTO? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually tweeted all of them mentioning this and they don't get back to me. You know who would be good in that movie also? Madonna. <laughs> you know, I... I I've tweeted her so many times. I'm surprised she hasn't blocked me. God, I, I hate Rebecca De Mornay and Madonna's political affiliations, but fuck, their movies, fucking awesome. Uh, I don't know anything did about you ever watch political the movie? affiliation. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it. But did you? Uh, All right. Did you read? Did you ever see uh, Jennifer Jason Lee in Backdraft? Is that like the movie with the fireman? Yes. Yeah, I I might have fell asleep during the half during the last ten minutes, but, but I had it. I liked it. Yeah, it's really good. You know, there's a movie where she plays like a horror, where she, they do a train on her. And of freaking... course, of course, of course. Um, I will say that she thought that Backdraft was her worst film. I don't agree, but. But she thought that. Well, she wasn't featured much in that movie for one. Well, thing. well, she thought she thought that that was the one where she was most like herself, and she thought that that was one where she didn't play a role as much as the others. So that's why. But anyway, yeah. what 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 yeah. what were you gonna say? What uh, what what other movie? Uh, well, there's a movie where I don't remember that she was in the junkyard and she just sat there and let people in line just fucking have sex with her. I forgot what movie that was. Oh, 
I have to look that up. Yeah, I don't uh, know. But she's a great actor. She's in this Netflix show called Atypical with Michael Rappaport. Oh. Where her son is um, autistic. It's a pretty good show, man. And she still looks hot. I have to look at that because I got Netflix. I, I have to look at that. Yeah, Atypical. Because she's the mom. Really good. I'm like, um, she doesn't really have a Twitter account. I, I, I want to contact her because I think that she would be really good in some that I wrote. But I, I haven't found a way to contact her. Yeah, and Rebecca D. Mornay is kind of nuts a little bit now, but she's still a great actress. Did you ever see her in Pulp Fiction? She had a small role um, in there. I saw the movie. I didn't really pay a lot of attention as to what was going on in it. I thought, eh, it's okay, not great, but it was all right. She was in the scene with Eric Stoltz where freaking they put the needle in fucking that one girl's chest to wake her up from the drug overdose. And Rebecca De Mornay is watching it with wide eyes going, ooh. <laughs> like, cool. I guess I, I can't remember, but I mean, um, that's not one of my favorite films. I, I, Bruce Willis, John Travolta, fucking Samuel L. Jackson, fucking uh, Big Rains. Yeah, you like house. everything. You I don't like, like everything. everything, man. It's not a Bruce Willis movie. It's like a total ensemble. And it's the first movie that wasn't linear. It didn't go from start to finish. It started, went backwards. Then went why the fuck the didn't you didn't like any of the uh, albums that I do that not been linear? I don't know, but fucking Pulp Fiction... You have to. You yeah, you're your fucking Pulp Fiction. I don't like nothing linear. You I, are Mr. Pulp Fiction. I don't like that nothing was linear. First, that was the I'm first movie Poopy, that. And listen, that's a song. That's a song title. But that was the first movie that made you put the parts together in your head. Because John Travolta got shot and killed in one scene, and then all of a sudden he's back in another scene, but it's before he got shot and killed. It's a fucking great movie, man. So. You actually do spend time to think. Yes, I think. I think, therefore, I am. Huh. You know about Rene Descartes? No. He was the one who thought of those, the, the, the phrase, I think, therefore, I am. Oh, he did. Descartes? I just know the saying. De, Descartes. All I just right. know the, scene, the saying. All right. All right. All right. Um, that's like. I know that I ate something with pancakes. I don't know where I ate it. I don't know the plate or the silverware or the sweetener. I just know I ate pancakes. Hey, man. I'm sorry, but I, I'm, I'm trying to be a bitch. You know what other album we need to do? We need to do Filter Short Bus. Huh? The Filter album, Short Bus. I don't even know who that is. You don't know Hey Man, Nice Shot? No. You don't know Hey Man, Hello, Hey Man, Nice Shot? No. You don't know. Do you want to take a picture? You know I won't remember. No. No, I don't. Shit, I need to send you that. You don't need what you don't know the song Welcome to the Fold? Fucking dude, you're missing out. That's that's Richard Patrick. Is that's, that P H I L T E R? No, filter. filter. It's spelled filter. The F I L T E R. Do you know the group um skateboard skinny? No. That's a group that a, a friend of mine had me review on my um show um on my own and 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 then he said skaterboard skinny that's the group or that's the one where you get street cred if you know it you know it's so good it's punk do you know stuff. nine inch nails yeah okay robert uh richard patrick was in the band and then he left to form his own band because trent wasn't paying him enough money in that band so he started his own band called filter first album was short bus they had a big hit out there mm. called Hey Man, Nice Shot. He I cussed, never heard it. And fucking, they had a really 
big single with uh it was like an acoustic where he's talking about he got drunk on a plane and people knew him and he said do you want to take my picture because you know i won't remember because he's fucked up <laughs> you know you want to take never my heard of picture it. you know i won't remember <laughs> there's some stuff that i haven't heard you gotta hear hey man nice shot it's fucking intense it starts off with a because i wish i would have met you but now it's a little late and then he starts mm. screaming hey man how long and it came in a nice shot you know all right i i don't even, I, I don't even know it i'll send it to you man like it, it's an they get intense i love filter they're assholes on twitter though <laughs> on fucking twitter and fucking facebook somebody was going off on them and they fucking fought back i love that shit <laughs> it's like they go you're a dick <laughs> filter called them one of their fans a dick and i was like yeah that's fucking awesome man all right but they're they're fucking playing a show with puddle of mud puddle of mud does not deserve to be with filter puddle of mud sucks compared to filter my god why are they going with wes you know i like the first two puddle of mud albums but I don't like any more after that, especially when he tried to do the cover of that one song. Oh. We should um, do a re reaction video to that if you can um, get that up, you know, the about a girl. How could we um, like how, how do you do how do you put the song underneath the video? We I, I don't I, I don't know how. Um, because I don't doc, have that ask technology. Dr. Uh, ask Doctor Fuck; he knows how to do that shit. I could probably ask him, but like, like, like the thing is, um, I did a version of about a girl. Ooh, it's 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 a lot better. Yeah, man, but uh, fuck, I gotta give you some filter. You gotta know that band because I think they're. Do you know who Richard Patrick is? The brother of robert patrick do you know robert patrick no he was the terminator in terminator 2 he was the liquid terminator he was the actor mm. okay and he, and he was also in the last few seasons of the x-files okay when, when Mulder and scully left he was in there mm. kind of i know that david duchovny has written novels and i and i David Red Duchovny has books. music, dude. He released a music song. But he also did some books, and I read one of his books. Weird. But uh, David Duchovny, you ever watch the show Californication on Showtime? No. He's a sex addict. <laughs> that oh, show. oh that's my interesting. God. Yeah, he, it's true life because you know him and his wife got divorced because he was a sex addict. So it's kind of him playing himself I, in this show. I wouldn't know. And he's playing a writer in California. He's playing a guy who writes books. Mm, oh. You might like it. That sounds almost like me, except now I'm in New York. You're in New York, so you should be writing more. Isn't that the creative capital of the world? Uh, you could say that. Well, everybody says you got if you want to be creative you got to move to new york blah 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 well i would say that um i think the most creative people come from the midwest that's because they have nothing going on so exactly. they have to look at the cockroach <laughs> and, and then think this cockroach came from mars and so he's riding up on this camel but no um you might freak out people in new york but that might be what they need if you ever visited them no i think you'd be cool i think you'd be whoa is this new york whoa what's this whoa is this a street whoa is this a building? Whoa. You know, and then you, know the, the, you just, I'm I, kidding. I would like to go to New York just to see the history. I'd like to go to Boston to see the history. I would like to see old buildings, old stuff, uh, stuff like yeah. that. I love California. I just don't like who's running it. 
but the state rules you know there's a lot of shit in here there's a lot of shit but there's more good stuff i'm glad shit. i left I, I'm, I'm glad i left you glad you left but you went to a worse place no i went to a better place you're under bill de blasio as your mayor dude <laughs> but but well, well what i'm saying is um sorry people for aren't as, as, as freaky people aren't as as trippy out I, I, I have people who are like, well, you, lived, you, lived in, you lived in San Francisco, dude. You should have moved down to SoCal. San Diego would have been your jam. I I never went there. San Diego, would have, they're more laid back. They're more beach people. They're more writers. Uh-huh. They're more creative down there in San Diego. I think that would have been your jam. San Francisco is a little fucking fucking acid uh, fucking idiots up there los angeles is same. well oakland oakland yeah oakland's a piece of shit they're losing all their sports yeah. teams but i think you would have enjoyed it in san diego it's more laid back there for you man but i never went there so i don't know well i think you should move to san diego so i could drive down nah, and see I, you. Nah, I, I, I don't know all i know is that um People don't trip out in New York where I am in Manhattan. They're 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 regular people. They're college students. They're just nice, and they're even even the people who are homeless are very respectable. They don't bother. People. That's why I think you would love San Diego. It's about the same thing, except they have fucking the Navy there, man. The Navy rules. Oh no, but the military people are fucking kicked back, dude. It's no, like, I, I, I can understand. It's just that I'm not going to be in the military. No, but you'd be down there. They have fucking more places for you to go get free Wi-Fi, kick back in a cafe, more different types of food places that you like, that you would love in San Diego. I'm... I'm oh. the fu- where the San... Di- I hate the fucking San Diego Padres, but the Lamplight District, dude, Fucking all those bars and clubs and music clubs, you would fucking enjoy it, dude. And plus, once a year, you would see Comic Con. <laughs> Who's that? Comic Con is where the nerds go to fucking nerd out. Is that where I can see ladies with really high waist? pants yes they wear and, fucking and sci-fi yeah. shit dude all sci-fi is tucked in you know that man yeah Ooh, really yeah you'd be right next to the convention center right there every year during Ooh. Comic-Con. Oh. <laughs> you don't get that shit in new york dude you don't get the weirdos uh. they have the weirdos that are you you are a fucking bohemian fucking san diego is a bohemian lifestyle dude down there uh, they fucking not- they surf, they drink, smoke bud, they drink alcohol, they party, they write, they fucking make movies. Dude, that is a creative fucking... And it, the weather is like 70, 80 degrees all year. Oh my fucking God, I hate that shit. You don't like it? I thought you don't like it hot. You like it cool? Like in the yeah, 70s. I don't. Over here, it's like 30 degrees, 40 degrees. You don't like fucking snow, though, do you? I I, I I don't like hot weather. It's not hot down there. The highest it gets is like 80 degrees because it's by the beach. You'd be by the beach. But 80 here. degrees, that's fucking hot over here. Not with the ocean breeze. I don't know what you're talking about. The ocean breeze is fucking nice, dude. You, when you lived in San Francisco, it wasn't that hot. I, I didn't live in San Francisco. I lived in Oakland, but Same I thing. went. But yeah, yeah. But Oakland but, is trash, though. It's a fucking ghetto compared to San Diego, dude. Yeah. You would like San Diego because all the creative people are down in San Diego. Yeah, I, I agree with you. you. I just um, You would uh, totally hang out with my friend Tanya down there, dude. She would fucking love you. She's a comedian. She's weird as fuck. She doesn't that care would about be anything. cool. She's a blonde. She's fucking weird. You would love her, dude. Yeah. He works at what's a Cuban her, cafe. What's her number? I'm I don't, kidding. Well, I won't give you your number, but I'll I'll sh- share her profile on Facebook and you could uh or just give me a screenshot of her face. I don't okay. care. 
All right. But I mean, no, I mean, I, I'm, I said that for this podcast to be funny. The truth is, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm old, and I'm, and I'm, and dude, I'm you're just, 55, just, dude. If you're old, then I'm fucking old. Yeah. Well, I don't care what you think, but I think that I'm. You're younger you know, than anybody I know. No. No, I, what you're you younger, know. dude. There's people out there who look a lot older than you that are younger. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of, um, I don't know what's going on, and and I'm and that, I don't know. All I know is that I'm, I'm trying. I would like to make a movie sometime with people in it who could play the roles that I want them to play. Well, dude, if you lived in San Diego, I could drive down there and I could make a movie with you. Shit. We got our iPhones. You can make movies. That would, that would be cool. San Diego, but I think San Diego is cheaper than fucking New York, but I don't know. Oh, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Probably. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You can finally find a place on the beach. You could be at the beach, dude. 70 degree weather all year. Fuck. Oh, dude. 70 degrees I, is fucking nice. No snow. I, there's there's 30 degree weather here that I love. I like I like it when it gets that cold. I lived in Victorville and it got to fucking 30 degrees in the morning when I went to work. That's fucking hell. I hated that because my windows would be iced up. <laughs> I'd have to fucking go clean up my windows. It's it's like um the last few days it was um the last couple of days it was like 94 degrees where i was and and now it's like i don't know what the weather is now but it's like maybe 40 50 it totally changed within the last few days okay let's end this on a on a flash musical questions what is your favorite kansas album um I would probably have to pick Left Overture. What is your favorite Cars album? The first. Okay, we already did the review of that. What's your second favorite? Um, I'll just say Candy O. Right on, dude. That's my favorite. What is your favorite Metallica album? Um, hmm. I actually, other than Kill 'em All, which is probably their best, I would say their very last one, or the uh, um, the adjust or whatever to spurt or whatever Hard, the name of it. Hardwired to self destruct. Yes, yes, that's okay. probably the, so one just of getting, their best. I'm getting ideas because I want to do Lee picks that I pick. So I'm just trying to get a thing yeah. on you. What is your favorite tesla album if you'd have to pick one. Oh god um none but their <laughs> first okay we already did their first we already did yeah. nirvana what's your favorite cheap trick album oh um dream police i don't know we haven't done dream police i don't think we have so hmm that's a good good idea sir what is your favorite anthrax album Oh, I don't know any of them well enough. I would say probably anything other than the ones that I heard. So probably their first. Their first? Oh, with the other singer? Um, yeah, because I never heard it. What is your favorite? Oh, I just had it in my head. Ario Speedwagon album. Oh, their second. Ew. We already did the review on Ario too. Yeah. Uh, okay. What's your second favorite Ario album? Ah, uh, not that I love it, but they're first. Okay. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? Um, none of them, but I would probably say the Phantom Menace. <laughs> what is mine's Empire? What's your favorite uh, Star Trek movie? Um, I'll only say Wrath of Khan only because I remember the name of it. 
but I don't like Star Trek movies. <laughs> I'm more of a Star Trek movie than a Star mm-hmm. Wars fan. Okay. Please don't ask me about science fiction movies. I won't give you good answers. What's your favorite ACDC album? Um, Let There Be Rock, the American version. We haven't done that yet, so that's good. These are good things to know. What's your favorite Oingo Boingo album? Um, Probably Only a Boy. Only a Lad? We did that, Nothing to Fear. Oh, so, only a lad or whatever it is. And I already did. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I, 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 I took off the headphones. I don't know why I did that. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm going to put on the headphones again so I can hear you. Sorry. All right. All only right. a boy or only a lad. Only a lad. Okay. We did only yeah. a lad and nothing to fear. And I did uh, yeah. Dead Man's Party. What albums besides those three would you like by Wingo Wingo? I don't know of any other ones that they did. That okay, well, that's fine. I'll let you know later. What's your favorite Rat album? Um, the the EP. EP, cool. Then if we did the EP, we'd have to do out of the cellar with it because it's short. Yeah, I guess. And maybe I could get Mick, Mick Watkins to do oh. it with us, or oh. Ed, Edwin Conestrachi. You know, one mm. of those two. And I yeah. also, before we end this out, I'm gonna. Oh, I already know what your favorite Def Leppard album is, High and Dry. So yeah. <laughs> I don't have to ask you that one. But um, before we end this, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with a list of other albums, that, uh, groups that I want to see what your favorites are, because I want to pick albums that you could get into on the podcast once in a while. So I want to pick stuff like that. Oh, um, you want to pick albums that I like? That's... Yeah, that, I want to pick... That, I that, pick that's that, generally a, a good a good um thing so i want to pick out but i but i also want to know what your favorites are so i could also go to ones that you don't know so i could go either favorite or not oh favorite. my fucking shit why the fuck do you because i could go that? from i could go from the rat ep to out of the cellar to mm-hmm. infestation oh god why <laughs> because it's fun when you hate shit <laughs> you, you, you fucking asshole shut up but I would like to get Edwin Conestrachi on on a rat, and I would like to get Edwin. Uh, I would like to get Mick. Why? Mick, Mick why Walken. the fuck you want to get him on the, 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 the stuff that I don't like? That's not good. Thing. Well, I would like. To, well, I said I would get them on the EP and out of the. Oh story. good. Oh good. Okay, I, I, I would get I, Mick I Watkins and Edwin Conestrachi. I need to tame you to do what I want, my pet, my pet poodle. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then. Um, also, I would like to promote Edwin Conestrachi's YouTube page. He just did a ACDC uh, rankings. And also Mick Watkins. He has some good uh, things on his uh, YouTube page. Oh, and also, yeah. if you know somebody in an RMCP group, uh, get in that group because they're really cool. Uh, Chuck Lobson's an asshole, but I like him. Um, um, you do. Yeah, he, he, he's kind of a dick, but... I like dicks. I like you, Lee. <laughs> uh, well, um, okay. Well, with nothing, nothing. Um, I, I don't feel bad about that. But I mean, he's he's kind of not. Well, never mind. Never mind. I I am jealous of uh Devin Dugan, dude. He got uh Ruben De La Rosa on one of his uh reviews. You know, huh. I, I would like to get Ruben on uh fucking out yeah. interview on her. I didn't think you did podcasts except the Rivera Vault. I'm I'd surprised like, he... I'd, I'd like him to be on mine. Sometime. Well, why don't you ask him and see if he'll be on yours and then I'll ask him after he does yours to do yeah. ours. All right, man. Yeah, because hey, I like... won't I won't ask him to be on ours. Yeah, you never do. I'm always mm-hmm. the one getting guests for us. You don't like us. I I, I just don't want people to hate me because I'm on your podcast. Well, dude, I mean, for I, I fucking I'm a dick, but the, <laughs> but the thing is, I I admit I'm a dick, and I say sorry to people. But but that doesn't mean that I want to have people come to you. Shit, Wad, I'm sorry. Wad, Wadzilla's Ooh. my friend. Ralph is back. Ooh. Me and Ed, me and Edwin and and Mick get along. I don't have anybody that really hates me except for that one dude who. You know what? I got kind of pissed when I told you to put your rock and pod 
uh, GoFundMe on our page, and the fucking asshole goes, he can do what he wants. I mean, what the fuck was that? I was trying to help you. I wasn't being a dick to you. I'm not going to say who that fucking guy was, but that pissed me off. I blocked him as soon as I saw that. <laughs> that was. Don't you think that was kind of fucked up? Because I was telling you to promote it on our page, and he said he can do what he wants. I wasn't telling. I wasn't telling you um, to promote it because I was a dick. I was telling you to promote it so we could get you money. I donated to your rock and pod fund. You know. I know. I know. I'm and not I- going to answer you. All I want to say is that I, I understand both sides. Hey, did that guy promote? Did that guy donate to your fund? I just want to say that that I understand. I'm not. I, saying, I, I, I'm not. I'm saying not. Who, I'm not going to get into any more of that. But I didn't say his name. But did he donate to your fund? I don't need to tell you. I well, tell me offline because I want to fucking know because I donated to you. And I'm a I'm a fucking friend. I fucking I'm your brother, and I fucking want you to get the rock and pop. I don't I don't want to make any political. I'm not if, telling if, you to say who it was. Shit. If, if, if I tell you whether or not he donated, can we get into some politics for a few minutes? I don't want to talk politics. You know that. Okay. Okay. Then then let's let's just stop. Let's stop it, man. Lee, I love you, man. I I want you to get the rock and pop. I hope you do promote the Freeform Rock podcast like you used to do at the colleges, handing out flyers. At yeah, least, it, at least I hand out flyers I, for yours and my and ours. You know, if 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 I go there, I might be able to hand out flyers. I might not do a podcast about us, but I might hand out flyers. That's fine. But if you're on a podcast, say hey, check me out on the Freeform Rock podcast. Just say it because it's your podcast also. It's not like you're promoting me. You know? Well, well, um, we'll see. I, it, let's, let, let me tell you something. I never got into fight with Chris Sinzak or Aaron Camaro. I, I love those well, Hey, me neither. Me neither. All right. So what you need to do for me when you get there and Edward Cotastrachi and if Mick Watkins is there is fucking give them a hug. Tell them I love them. And say Mark says yeah. hi. At least say Mark says hi. Yeah. But also tell Vincent Cabanaugh that I have nothing against him. I thought he hated me. That's why I unfriended him. Tell Vincent Cabanaugh Mark says hi. That's it. No problem. All right, man. Lee, I love you, brother. All right. You don't love me? Um, or you don't you're get, okay. I'm okay. Kissy, kissy, wissy, wissy. Take this shit and shove it. All right. Uh All right. Say goodbye, Lee. Bye-bye.